afternoon is an interesting thing, right? Shocked British holidaymakers choked on their meals when Turkish hotel staff began circumcising scores of boys in the restaurant. Can you believe this? When the holidaymakers complained, they were told it's a tradition. Boys as young as seven screamed in agony as they underwent the snip on a giant bed in the corner of the eating area. The upset customers understandably complained to the travel agents and have been offered £63 in compensation. It's not what you want when you go on a visit. Flipping heck. On the line now to justify these events is the manager of the hotel in question, Ali Bob Nutcher. Are you there, Ali? Hello, Mark. Now then, what's this all about then? Circumcising young boys in the dining area? That can't be right. Look, Mark, as you quite rightly pointed out, this is a tradition and a bit of an earner on the side. You what, Mr Bob Nutcher? <laughs> well, they don't get the bed for now, do they, mate? <laughs> this is outrageous. Look, Mark, if you or any other squeamish, raving, Nancy English boy has got a problem with it, then that's just too bad. If you don't like it, go to your butlings or something. But, 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 don't you, but, 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 me, you divot, you go on holiday for the culture, mate. So Soak it up. I don't mind soaking up the culture, Mr. Bob Nutcher, but soaking up the blood, do me a favour. Give over. But think of the holidaymakers. It cannot, I put it to you, Mr. Bob Nutcher, have been a very nice spectacle for them. Look, Mark, we have even gone to the trouble I've laid on a traditional British breakfast that morning and they still weren't happy. Why? What did you give them? Sliced button mushrooms, skin the sausages and your lovely high tomato sauce. Hmm, <laughs> right, Mr. Bob Nutcher. There is no pleasing some people, is there? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, go on. But as I say, Bob, this is a vibrant Turkish hotel full of Eastern traditions. Yeah. We've got... Yeah. Go We've got... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bob Nutcher, this is no laughing matter. Would you like to... Bob, as I said, we've got more traditions here than you can shake a traditional pooey Turkish stick at. Like what? Well, you may or may not be aware of the great tradition of surgically removing hemorrhoids with a blunt bread knife on the buffet bar. You're winding me up, aren't you? I am, Mark, just as my father would have done, and his father before him, and his father, and his father, yeah, yeah, father, yeah, father. Yeah, 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 I get the picture. It's, it's a, a tradition. tradition. But tradition or not, uh, Mr. Bob Nutcher, it's not very nice, is it? <laughs> Mr. Bob Nutcher, are you still there? <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bob Nutcher, shall we cut our losses, or would you like to try and get to the punchline? Yeah, we'll, go, we'll get to the punchline, Mark. Okay, right. Well, it's better than being poked in the eye with a sharp stick. What's that got to do with it? <laughs> well, that's another local tradition. Every Tuesday night in the Nelson Mandela mezzanine bar, packs them in a fibre of scalp, Mark. Right, that's terrible. Now then, Mark, you're just showing your ignorance. Take the tradition of watching down the lager, for instance. I don't like doing it, but it's a great Turkish tradition, along with the short changing of the drunk and the sending of them to my brother-in-law's dodgy restaurant, where I'm absolutely steeped in tradition, Mark. Get away with you. It seems to me the only thing you're steeped in is fleecing unsuspecting British holidaymakers of their hard-earned cash. Yes, but well, that's the oldest tradition of all, mate. Fair enough. See, what was your name again? I can't remember. Whatever.
loud Because we want to make a crowd Yeah Touch your hand and sing A song so pure Salvation means Tell me can you feel it Started off by giving away a big cash prize. Perhaps today we will, as we play Beat the Clock. And uh, on the line should be an eager beaver of a contestant. Hello there. Hello there, Mark. Oh, hello. And hello. Uh, what's your name, Mrs? Uh, David. All right. Uh, David, right. Uh, yeah. da David what? David Whoopich Stanker. 26 Cobble Digger Close Silver End. 01376 sir. Right, OK, fair yeah. enough. I'm glad you gave your number out, because yeah. I don't care about that anymore. Right. Uh, how old are you? 45, Mark. Really? Yeah, 45, and I'm a bit of a ladies' man, truth be told. Are you? Yeah, oh yeah. Love them, right. love them, really do love them. Are you married? No. No? Have no. you got a girlfriend at the moment? Uh, no. I mean, you know, I don't really agree with that bitch girlfriend concept, Mark. I mean, you know, I, I love the girls and they love me and, and I see it more as a kind of 
physical thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah, just like, you know, have a bit of fun with a lady. Well, <laughs> Don't commit yourself. No ties, you know. That's so I haven't got a girlfriend, now. That's fair enough, isn't it? It's yeah. uh, between consenting adults. You're yeah, not I, I don't you're not, want a girlfriend. You're not oh. cheating on anybody, are you? So no. You play, right, okay. No. Um, do you work? Yes, I'm a, I'm a telephone handler, Mark. All right. <laughs> now, as you may have noticed, I've got a very high-pitched voice for a bloke. And that, do you know, I hadn't noticed that until well, you mentioned I, it. Some people have said it. I don't... But yeah. it, it leads to all kinds of funny situations on the phone, as you can imagine. But that's my job, so I just have to get on with it, you know. Right, OK. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, do you like music? Oh, music? What? Oh, I eat, sleep, breathe it, Mark. Yeah, well, I like sexy stuff. Oh, yeah. As you can probably imagine, but... Yeah, but like... you could do Fat Harry White's job, couldn't you? Well, I probably could. But, um, yeah, I like Prince, and I like um, Barry White, funnily enough. Yeah. Julio Iglesias, Family Mahone, stuff like that. Very yeah. sexually orientated well, stuff. Well, that's right, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I like sexy birds, really. Women, chicks, ladies. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like Nina. Is that her name? Out the cardigan, the blonde piece. Oh, yeah. She's fit as butcher's dog, her. Eh? She's a nice-looking woman. Yeah, that's what I said. Anyway, I love no, the cardigans. I mean, I often make love to the strains of the cardigans. Pardon the pun. Do you? Oh, yeah. Right, OK. Yeah, I love them. I think they're really sexy. I think you're making it all up. I think you just do this on your own, dear. You? Just get on with the rules. Will okay, you? right, all right then. Uh, here are the rules to beat the clock. Right. I'm going to play you a record. Okay. Right, and you shout stop when you recognise the tune. Stop. Well, if you like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the quicker you stop, me, the more money you win. I'm going to play you three oh. minutes. Three oh. minutes odd, you know, something like that. Yeah, fine. Ooh. 180 pounds right. to 210 pounds. See how I feel and how much time we've got to pull. Okay. Really. Is it all right if I shout, ooh, stop? Well, it is, as long as I can hear it. You, right. can, you can shout what you like. Right, fine. Right, for every second that ticks by, you lose a pound. Yeah? Yeah. Right, that's fine, if you right. live with that. Now then, you're a man who obviously appreciates the beautiful things in life. <laughs> oh, not half, baby. Try this big clock on for size. Nice. You know, you should be one of them sexy phone lines, you. You're a right tease. Against the clock! Oh, Against that, the no, clock! No, that's the, that's the other game, isn't mm, it? stop. Right, right, here we go, then. Okay. Right. Oh. Oh, this is, this is nice. Oh. Oh, yeah, what a great groove. It's got a really great groove, hasn't it? Well, I mean, I don't like using that word, or vibe, really, but I know what you mean. How long is it? Three minutes? Might give you a bit longer, I don't know. I'm just thinking, you know, if it was a bit faster, the music and the song was a bit shorter, you could make love to this. Well, how, how much shorter? About two minutes shorter. Yeah, oh, as long as that left. Yeah. Right, um, two, two, two minutes fifty. No, stop! Right, you've lost £37 already. Hello? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a big, sexy, big, big blonde with long legs and luscious lips. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can do that, yeah. Well, in fact, I'm doing it now. Hello? Hello? Are you still there? Steady get. Sorry, Mark. Carry on! This sounds to me very much like Let's Make Love Over the Telephone by Jose Feliciano. Really? Yeah. Does it? You... Make love to that on a regular basis. It's not a tune I'm familiar with, them. Well, you want to try it, baby. Well, perhaps I won't. Oh, dear. Um... Not like this bit, this bit's a bit bilge. A bit what? Mary J. Mary J. Bilge. Yeah. It's a bit like the telephone always rings by the Bumboy 3, don't you think? I hadn't noticed the similarity myself. It's the over. Well, well, guess it then, if, you, if you're so sure. Um. If you're... Mm. Oh, bloody hell. Ah. Oh, goodness sake. Oh, God almighty. Hello. Hello there, big boy. Yes? Oh, I like that, too. My name? Yes, it's Tanya. <laughs> yes, I bet you would. Dad. Dad, is that you, Dad? Dad? Yeah. Dad. Carry on! Right. Well, his father am I? I mean, don't mind me. I'm just trying to do a national radio competition. Well, I've got to earn a crust. Mm. Oh, you know, I can see him now, Mark. A big fat guy with blackheads on his neck. Stephen Gately. It's mm. not, is it? Oh, dear me. Um, it's all this. How long have I got now? Well, you've, you've lost £100. Pounds, oh, dear. So you've got between £1,800 and £1,010. Pounds. I've still not decided how long I'm giving you yet. Right, uh, it's not sex over the phone by village people, is it? So, 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 well, what do you think? Which 
Yeah. Shout stop and give me your answer if that's your guess. No. That's the game. Not no. Um, oh, it's so sexy. Oh, dear. Um, oh, if I try to say... Stop! Get this bloody thing now. Mm. Hello? My name is Lucinda. Oh, yes. Well, um, I'm wearing a big pair of pink wellies now that you mention it. And gardening gloves. Uh, Come on. Oh, oh gobblers. Oh, no, I've had an accident now. I have to go. Bye. Carry on, Mark! Oh, she's not worth it! Well, you know, I mean, it's not supposed to be a quiz for dullards. You know, Radio 1 respects its I've audience. I've not even got any spare pairs of trousers with me. Oh, is it you can talk to me, the seahorses? It's not, not, is it, no? It, it's very much like One Track Mind by Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers. But no, it's not, because well, that's a yeah, woman. Yeah. And this is a bloke. Right, OK. Oh, uh, it's, it's overtly sexual, and that's what I like about him, Mark. Very sensual. Yeah. Is it Rolling Down the Highway by Pam and Ted Overdrive featuring Randy Bachman? He was a good-looking lad, wasn't he? Randy Bachman. <laughs> yeah, no. It's not, is it? Is it Let's Talk About Sex, Salt and Pepper? No, I, I got the impression you're sort of clutching at straws yeah, a Mr. bit. Mr. Loverman, Shabarangs, Mark. Sounds like, huh? Not, is it? No. How long have we got left now? I'm struggling. Are you? Yeah, I'm running out. My list is running out. Oh, is it? Right, OK. Well, we'll... Uh... Oh, is it Dirty Love by Frank Zappa, Mark? No, is it? No. 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 Don't talk dirty to me, Jermaine Stewart. Stop! Okay then, right, for, for uh, two pound. Two pounds? We'll, we'll, we'll worry about the gap before the news in a couple of minutes. I'll come in and give you a lift. Um, no, but it was just hang on for a second, Mark. Give me a minute. I know I'll get it. Right. I, I can see him now. It's can just, you? Yeah, just, just give me a minute. Just back off, will you, and I'll, I'll, I'll put my thinking hat on. What did you say? I said... Just wait a minute and I'll put my thinking hat on. You said just back off. I mean, if you're going to treat me like an idiot, you're not having the flipping two pound. It was flipping, who was it? It was the cardigans, wasn't it? You gotta beat the clock, you gotta beat the clock. Sitting here taking that. Here they come again. I'm scotching up to my door. One by one again. Knockety knock knocking upon my floor. My gains, they gain an entry by the yard. Pulling up my hair, they scream. Beat your thoughts upon my card. And I'd know tonight I've got studies to examine. Tomorrow I'll be watching all the Queen's men. A talent contest on Monday with my Uncle Sam Who now takes up all of my time He gives me things to do Cause he's a wonderful man But I'm sailing across the sea To see my Uncle Sam I'm sailing across the sea To be with my Uncle Sam To be with my Uncle Sam
Rita, let's play Down Count. Who's our contestant today? Hey! I did Chris for Mark. Well, you can call me Chris. Hello, Christopher. Hello, Mark. You right, you having a good day? Yes, I am, Mark. I've um, just um, finished another book. Oh, very good. When did you start it? This morning. Mm, well, I am impressed. You read a lot, then. Oh, yes, Mark. I'm very bookish. I feed my brain with words. <laughs> if you look up the word bookworm in the dictionary, you see a photograph of me. <laughs> right, is that true? I thought they just had, like, written explanations, not photos. No, I didn't mean that logically. Legit. Literally. Literally. Literally, no. I didn't mean it a liter literal thing. I was joking. I know, so was I. <laughs> oh, wow. You have rummy wind up, Munchie. Wind up. Wind up, Munchin. Mincer. Merchant. Merchant. Wind up, Merchant. You aren't you, you bugger. Uh, was it a big book, Christopher? Well, it was over two inches thick, Mark, with very small writing. What book was it? The Argos Winter 2002 catalogue, Mark. Uh, shall we look at the rules? Yes. Yeah, you pick some vowels and consonants. Yes. Say hello, Carol. Hello. Hello. You make a bigger word than her. Say hello. 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 Right, and you will the chance to go backstage at Oasis forthcoming Manchester Lancashire County Cricket Club gig. Drink 18 cans of weak lager and have a nude pillow fight with the Gallagher brother of your choice. <laughs> Once again, it's the Radio One Prize money can't buy. Sounds very really good. Should we play? Yes. Okay, away you go. Wow, please, Carol. A. Consider him, please, Carol. Ah. Oh. Another consider him, please, Carol. S. Vowel. E. Hey, oh, hey. No continent, please, Carol. H. H. Vowel. O. No continent, please, Carol. L. And I think I'll round it off with a nice vowel, please, Carol. E. Hmm. A R S E H O L E. I've got a feeling there must be something in there. Oh, yes, it will be. Well, yeah. I'll leave you sticking it out, though. The yes, problem. well, I'll leave you to get stuck in then. <laughs> Straight, straight in there, she was. She was. Wrist uh, hole. Sip hole. You know, I was. Arch. Right. Sip hole. Wrist hole. All right, then. Uh, did you manage to uh, pull anything out of A-R-S-E-H-O-L-E? -E? Oh, struggled. And did you fish anything out of there, did you? Yes, I did. Did you? Right, what? <laughs> what, what, what did you get? <laughs> Let me count them up. Right. Two. 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 Two, yes. Right, OK, then. And what's your word? As. As. As in. As in. Yes. Well, that's excellent. Yes, excellent. Ah, yes. Excellent, maybe, but not excellent enough. Oh! Why, how many letters have you used then, Carol? Three. Three? Blimey, next action. Look at that. Did you best check that, Mark? Ah, yes, I will check it. Don't worry. Yeah, right. Well, what's your word then, Carol? S H E. Oh. She. Holy neck. As in, she is clever for a frosty old bag, Mark. Exactly that, mate. Oh, she's blooming clever, isn't she, Mark, for a frosty old bag? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, hard luck, pal. Sorry, mate, you win now. Not to worry. I've had a lovely day. Bye-bye, Bob. Bye. Bye-bye, Carol. Bye. 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 One day 
when I was riding on the train, I seen these two kids talking About the Nubian rain had fallen I didn't say nothing cause these kids caught my goat Even pulled my goat like a murder that they wrote So this kid with mouth swagger now plays the cloak and dagger So I got to show you to my Sherlock that I am I can rock a jam, make the world drop camo Yes, I'm the bad man and bad men were black And if it comes to drop the bomb, stay it with that Now I can freak, block, blow, rip up a party Dance all night and at the end call the party You want to doubt the style that was made from my mom and my dad When I was young I used to run with a notepad Then time through and somehow I knew that I was bad to the bone Black prodigies since the age of 20 I could write a rhyme, rip it up and write the next one Right on the spot, sign my name with the dot Diamond D threw me a smooth beat Bronx crowd roar, took up your rack jam Everybody hit the floor Okay, it's you slim, the hard rock Cover pack, the one the near to the brothers You must be a holding, but something good in his chest Now his whole body swollen Why did I have to do it? He asked for it, his man saw it So it don't mean jack to me He's gone, that's how it's supposed to be Check it out now I ain't going out, man, that's what style is dead Have y'all heard what I said? If not, it's the dread He got a cannon, that's bad Similar to the one that I got from my old dad My name was Flash when a sucker tried to rob me from a cash. You thought you had a sweet Vic, nice pick, but you didn't anticipate that I might be sick. Now who's the trick? Cause I'm not a up. No, 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 no. I always do the selling. If I gotta do the swelling, my neck used to be smelling. Your rectum till you learn. Brand new be in yo, you gotta respect them. Dissect them, yo. Our word is born regardless. To whom or what to do, the boomer struck. I step the hell off before I punch you in your face with the face. Then you're gonna taste blood in your mouth It's gonna flood south to the ground Then you're gonna know I don't play around So if you think you had two soft new jacks We're gonna have to off you with a few cracks To the jaw and you won't pop that junk no more Explain it to your punk friends you're laying on the floor Did you want some more? I didn't think so Just got whipped like a sissy in the clink so I suggest you take your bloody mess and find a piece of wire Fix your broken jaw then it's time to retire Lord Jamal will live long Cause I give strong blows to the heads of my foes Dread Flows. Give me power as it grows Watch out, Rock Clotter, you catch the speed Not he not And hell will be your home, Lord, your monster die As you swell, you're gone Punch your butt, you can't be down Punch your butt, you can't be down I'm a step north with that nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's probably you think we fell off, but we definitely didn't fall. Word up, get knocked out with that deal, you know what I'm saying? Word up, Bronx Cruise know the flavor. Word up, Brooklyn Queens know the flavor, y'all. Uptown Cruise, Corbin and Malibu. You know what I'm saying? I can't call it on that nonsense, yo. Brand new, me kicking the black facts. For the 90s and beyond, y'all. All punks, yeah. Get yeah. beat down. Yeah. Hey, before you want to stay and do this with me today? <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Oh, um, oh, oh you what? Got a show? What? What? Oh, you're joking. What? What's? Dave Pierce has turned up. <laughs> oh, you, 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 you aren't pulling me leg. Apparently, he's on his way up. <laughs> Listen, um. I need a wee, I'm... Uh, all right, but I'll yeah. just get on with this, right? Yeah, you get on with that, I'm... Yeah. I'll keep a low profile. All right, let's do Missing Words. Who's on the line today, then? dum dee dum dee dum It's um, Perry Mark. All right. She's even my mother. Was a big fan of Perry Como. All right. Who liked to sing just like I do. You know, dum dee dum so she named me after him. So she did. Dum ti dum ti dum. All right then, yeah, Perry who? Well, to give you my full name, Mark, it's Perry Neam O'Hadaforth. Right, okay. Yes. Nice. I've never heard the name Neam before, Perry. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, where do you live? I did, I did, I. I, I, I live in Orchid Cottage on Elderberry Way, so I do. Oh, that sounds so sweet. Yeah. What village or hamlet is that in? Dum-dee-dum-dee-dum. I'm at the end 
did it own way at John Lennon Airport over here in the pool. All right, do you like music, Perry? Oh, God, I do. I I tell you what, now then, Mark, I love music, and my favorite artists ever are Smiley Culture and Hootie and the Blowfish. Lovely, love them. Right, shall we play Missing Words? Oh, he go, he. Here you go. All you have to do is sum up the missing word is from the following song. Yes. And you in a 12 by 12 photograph of Holly Valance's gusset as taken by Lord Snowden. Oh, excellent, Dad. I want one of them. Should we do it? Yeah, it's ready. Oh, oh. Here we go. I know. Oh, I loved it. I, I, I loved it. Right. Oh. 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 Correct. Well, I was singing this song in church just yesterday. Really? Yeah, it was me, me mother, me brother, me brother's mother. Right? Right. And we were with Father out here, we think. Yeah. So I was making this song. Oh, we always have a nice little sing song after the service. How lucky is that? Extraordinarily lucky. Yes. Yeah. Right, should we do it then? Certainly. Here he comes. No. That's correct, Ma, because I think that he would find that good old Fergal, like myself, and all other keen DIYers, are constantly frustrated these days at the poor manufacturing standards when it comes to nails and screws. Now, I I, 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 I was screwing the hind legs of a rocking horse just yesterday when three, count them, three of the screw heads shattered and splintered. It was an absolute nightmare. Right, oh, I said, well, I'm sorry about that, but it's not screw, it's hard. No, no, I, 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 I'm equally sorry, Mark, but I, I think you'll find it is screw. It's not, you know. No, I think you'll find that it is. No, honestly, it's not no, screw. No, honestly, it is screw. No. It is. No. It is. Look. It is infinity. No, right, I, I think you'll find you wrong. No, I think you'll find you're wrong. Right, you're okay. arrogant bugger. Should we have a listen to the original? That's fine by me. You'll find I'm right. Okay, here we go. No! No!
Mystery, right? Only three days left of this competition, is it? Or are we doing it for long? No, only three. Let's hope that that big prize goes. I mean, it's getting embarrassingly large. This rollover jackpot. Now, who's on the mystery line today? <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Hello. Who's that there? <coughs> Edward. No. Oh, I thought I got one there. No. Craig, I mean Gregory, I mean oh. Gregory Dice, <laughs> yes. the big cheese rap on the BBC, and the man who will inevitably play a large part in your dethroning and downfall, Radcliffe. Right. Due to you and your daft mate's constant referral to not only music pre years here, oh, 1977, is it, or is it 1987? Uh, it's 97. 90, what's that? <laughs> Never even heard of that. Right, but yeah. not only that, right, your constant bombardment of Mickey taking, right, aimed at the likes of Stagiophonics and Ocean Colour Scene. <laughs> the latter of whom, if given the chance, would effortlessly kick yours and Lars' lily-livered asses up and down the street with one... 
rolling shoe tied behind the back. That didn't work that bit. Will you get my drift? Right. You're all about the trousers. Right, yeah, well, I've never tried to deny that. Well, you know, you know, it's like, well. I don't like violence, me. No, they uh, do. Usually because I lose. You're joking. Ocean Colours, he's about as big as Les Dennis. Think it's, mind the singer looks a bit handy. Yeah, I need to come out. There, you're true enough. All I'm right. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, no, <laughs> right, all right. So, uh, do you work then, Gregory? Uh, yes, Mark, I'm a window cleaner. Right, yeah. And yeah. I tell you, if you could see the things I see when I'm cleaning windows. All right. Blimey, Charlie, some of these birds, you know, I think they do it on purpose, Mark. What? Just to embarrass me or to get me aroused in a carnal kind of way. Yes. Why? Just this afternoon, Mark, I was cleaning the windows of a large stone cladded right? Yes. Well, I was actually cleaning the bathroom windows, right? Yes. When all of a sudden, really unexpectedly, honest, I got a knife for of this really fit bird, Mark. Yeah. Completely naked. It was just showing, the bathroom, wasn't it? Yes, but she was showing out a lot. She was like blazing as you like, rugs, everything. Well, I was so embarrassed, Mark, you know. I, I panicked when she screamed. I lost me footing on the ladder, caught me temple on the curtain rail, lost me footing, fell out of the window, and dropped me video camera down the toilet oh, in the process. Right. Oh, it's a nightmare. Right. Absolute nightmare. Must grumble. Um, I hesitate to ask, but do you have any hobbies? Uh, well, I just like stopping in, haven't I, really? Yes, you know, watching very, videos. No, no, oh. no. I'm a very simple kind of homely guy, you know. I just yeah. sit there and look out my window watching the world pass me by, really. Do you? Yeah. Right, where'd you live? On the sheep, wasn't it, Brian Mark? Very Overlooking nice. the nudist beach, actually. Right. Well, when I say my window, it's not strictly my window. Being as it is a B&B, DSS welcome. Right. What's in grumble? Yeah, but actually, I'm sat here now, Mark, watching the sun worshippers. Oh, I don't know where to look. All his naked flesh. Oh. Uh, what was that? Oh, uh, What? Me binoculars, Mark. Oh, Third right. pair I've gone through this week. Woman, right. sounded yeah. like sounded like a biscuit tin. Yeah, it did, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is a biscuit tin model. Is it? It's a big different fellow, Mark. Oh, do you know it's not a? Oh, it's a good guess. It is a very good guess. I can give you a clue. Yes, please. He's very famous. Right. All right, here yeah. he comes. Are you ready? Yeah. I'd rather you went the other way. I can give you another clue. It's not Fireman Australian One Liner. No, yeah, oh, uh, thanks for that, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't think he was. Okay, good. No, no, no I recognise your voice, I think. Well, that's the idea of the game. Yeah. You, you, you now say it, and you got mm. five pounds. Wow, I think I've got it. Yep. Is it Leilan, the age 21 from Bournemouth, picture Beverly Goodway? Oh, it's not him. Is it not? It's not oh, him. Oh, it was a good guess. <laughs> it was a very good guess, oh. that, yes. Uh, uh, all right, it was you like a bigger clip? Yes, please! Here he comes. Well, I've been acting the goat on TV for years now. I was Granville in Open All Hours with Ronnie Barker, and I was also in Porridge with Big Ron. But I was given the role of a lifetime as Del Boy in Only Fools and Horses. That made me, really. I also play a bit of a cranky detective in A Touch of Frost. These days, I might be a bit of a diddy pot belly bloke, but I've just had a lovely baby. And my pension's not far off. Whoopee! <laughs> right, so a few clues in there, yeah. right? Uh, Touch of Frost, Del Boy in Only Fools and Horses, Granville in Open All Hours, uh, Just Had a Baby, and uh, Diddy Pop Belly Bloke, as I'm sure. Yeah, mm. so, I mean, some of it meant something to me, some of it didn't, to be honest. I mean, acting the goat, Pop mm. Belly, Big Cranky, mm. had a lovely baby. She Liam Gallagher! Oh, it's not her. Is it not? It's not her, no, no it's not. No. I'm afraid you've not won anything. I was sure I'd won, then, and all. Oh, all right. Well, look, it's been lovely talking to you. Yeah, likewise, thank um, you. Moderately. I mean, lovely might be going a bit far. But anyway, uh, would you like to know who it was before you go? Yes, please. It was David Jason.
round. And uh, who's our contestant on the line today? Is you on your way? Hello, Ronald, and how old are you, mate? I'm 17, Mark! Oh, uh, great. All right, well, welcome to this, the first episode of Down Count. Yeah. Uh, the letters game where we test your knowledge of the English language. Oh, marvellous. Can you have a beat, please, Bob? No, hang on, mate. Well, no, I think we need to run through the rules. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, you pick between six and 12 letters from the Down Count alphabet cards <laughs> as dealt by the lovely Michelle. Oh. Say hello, Michelle. Hello. Uh, oh. Choosing consonants and vowels. And we then give you 30 seconds to take those letters and turn them into the longest word you can. Oh. Maybe you can come up with a longer word than our lovely and clever Michelle. Say hello, Michelle. Hello. Uh, then you win a trip to London's red light area and 50 Pound spending money. Marvellous, So you're up to speed then, Ronald? <laughs> right, so uh, let us begin. Can I have a P, please, Bob? No, that's a different what? game, Ronald. Ooh. No, you pick vowels and consonants and make a word up from them. Oh. Isn't that right, Michelle? Yes. Say hello, Shelley. Hello. hello. Right, uh, go hello. on then. Right, okay, right, uh, go on, uh, tell her what you want. Okay, okay. Can I have a consonant, please, Carol? B. B. Your vowel, please, Carol? A. Another consonant, please, Carol? S. B. A. Another consonant, please, Carol? T. Vowel? A. B. A. Right, okay. Uh, B A S T A R D. Uh, this should be interesting. Yes. Um, okay, Ronald, you've now got 30 seconds to make as big a word as you can from those letters, and your time starts now. Don't mind. What? Got it. Would you job? Okay, your time's up, Ronald. So, uh, how many letters have you been able to string together to form a word from B A S T A R D? Two. Two? Yes. <laughs> Two, right. Well, what's your word, then? It's tar. A tar, right. As in thrax, yes. Thrax, that's... yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's... I have done bloody well. That's excellent, Ronald. But yes. can, can the lovely Carol beat it? I can. Oh, right. Oh. How many letters have you used, then? Three. Three? Three. Oh, oh. 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 It certainly is, Ronald, but, uh, yeah, well, let's see if she got a proper word. What is your word, Carol? Michelle. Rat. Oh. Yeah. Rat. Rat. Yeah. Oh, rat. That is excellent. Hey, Carol, who is rat? Yeah, she's not bad for a woman, is she, Bob? Yeah, she's not, mate. No. Oh, well, hard luck, Ronald. You win now on this, the first what ever episode of Radio 1's Down Girl. Oh, no, 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 Bye, Voyage. Man, I'll be out in Europe at my next stop. Prague, I'll be everywhere. Tell her where you going with your swell ass. To Northern Ireland, Chitty, Corinne, Bells, Fast. Couldn't picture my life ever being turtle. Had a show in Wilmington, but we flew out of Myrtle. Yeah, and this is my style. Numbers that I down, bitch. <laughs> know that time is limited. I got a lot of sky miles. Hey, but where's made to get worse? I was working double shifts like an agency nurse. And maybe at first, eggs this guy's over. Done. Then I hit the slope on them, now my rise overrun If I spit that dope on them, then my mind is done And I wait in the blow, this is what you should know If you ain't get the picture, understand that there's more to me Got me throwing my arms around, Paris shit, more to see oh, Cities for these different 
different days It's a days lately I've been smoking on some different haze Employers hate the day when you find something different pays Remember rapping, my parents would tell me it's a phase Yeah, well I'm sorry it's not I'm calling the shots, I gotta give it all that I got Yeah, knowledge is power I can't wait to see my mind climb And so does she, she can't wait to give me Einstein But she can't call it a quickie Peanut butter love, I be gone in the jiffy Yeah, see what else do we have but integrity At which point do you become celebrity Hit with my signature but I don't write Legibly, allegedly a monster Can you feel the energy? Even though I'm about to change latitudes Never stress and I take it easy Nigga with attitude oh, Joking. I am not Charlie Dimmer. In reception. In reception. In reception. Who is it? It's the saviour, Gregory Dyke. Gregory. Who does he want? Look. Well, you'll have to go down for him because he won't find his way up here, will he? Yeah, no. So you better go and see what he wants, shouldn't you? Yeah. Do right. you think I'm in trouble? I wouldn't have thought so. I was only so. reading in the paper. I know, I... You know, it yeah, wasn't... I, I, I... It was, you know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And who's on the line today, Dan? Dum dee dum dee dum. It's Harry Mark. Dum dee dum dee dum. Harry who? Harry, you old class of Ford Hall. You all right, Harry? Dum dee dum dee dum. Yes, I am. Um, thanks for asking, Mark. All right, and uh, what have you been doing today, Hazard? I've been urinating all over and throwing darts at a large photograph of Jamiroquai, Mark. Right, well, time well spent, then. Oh, yes. Right, and where do you live, then, Harry? dum dee dum dee dum I, I, I live in Sandy Beach Cottage, over on Sea Breeze View, there. That sounds so lovely. Yeah, it is. Where's that, then? Coventry, Mark. Excellent. And uh, do you like music, Harry? Oh, God, I do, I. I tell you what, my favourite artist ever... Our Pat O'Banton. Yeah. Upside down. <laughs> and Hootie and the Blowfish. Wow, excellent taste. Excellent there. taste, yeah. Okay, shall we play Missing Words? Okie dokie. Right, there you go. All you have to do is tell me what the missing word is from the following song. Yes. And you win a six month break in North Wales. Oh. Staying at the Rill Hilton. Oh. Guest House. Oh. DSS Welcome. Oh, that's excellent. That's so yeah, shall that's we do it? it? Yeah, righty ho. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. There you go, then. All right. I tell you what, you won't believe this, Mark. Right. But I bumped into Kylie Minogue just last night in the pub. Right. And we got talking like you do, you know. Mm -hmm. Would you believe we ended up singing this song together as a duet? You joke. And then we went back to her hotel and made mad passionate love all night. Would you believe it, eh? No, I wouldn't. No, I don't blame you, no. But I do like the song. Yeah. In fact, I was singing it with my mother and my brother. Right, yes, in the parlour just last night. No, uh, in the scullery, actually. It was. I see. Yeah, yeah right. in the scullery. All right, never mind all that. Shall I stick the tune on again and you can have a go? Oh, that'd be great, yeah. All right, here she comes. La, 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 I just can't get you out of my head. No, what did I do there? Oh, God, I got it wrong. I just can't get you out of my head. 
sort of. Um, well, you got it partly. You got one right and, Did three, I? and three wrong. Did I really? No, I think I got one wrong and three right. No, I think it Salvaging. was... Salvaging. No. Yes, no, I, think, I think so. No, I think it was three wrong and one right. No, I think you'll find that I'm right there. But you were right one out of the yeah, four. Yeah, never mind all that. Let's cross over that, will we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... No, I, I, I think you'll find that I'm right. It is crack. No, it's not. It's definitely not. No, it is. It was what you said. I mean, no. I, I could give you a prize because you, you didn't get it right. No, just cross over it. You don't mind. Yeah, just, <laughs> just go back off the, <laughs> the page. Yeah, yeah, no. I yeah, no, I'll tell you what. Where, I'll tell you going, the, where are you going from now? I'll then? tell you. Uh, on top of page two. <laughs> oh, all right then, yeah. <laughs> it so isn't. It so isn't. I'll tell you the story behind it if you like. Go on then. <laughs> Seeing as you've written it, you might as well. <laughs> Okey dokey. Now, Kylie had this song written for her by an ex boyfriend of hers, right? Right. Who was an unscrupulous dentist? You want to read it, or should I? <laughs> Who, after filling a genuine crack, crack in her in tooth, in a head, in a head, in a head. <laughs> oh, yeah, well done, well spotted, carried on to use poor Kylie as a guinea pig, yeah. moving good teeth and giving unnecessary fillings in order to yeah, both right. crack. Yeah, it's a good answer, but it's not right. <laughs> oh, it's it is, though. No. Oh, no. oh, I think you'll find it. It is. No, no, it's it's not crack. It is head. <laughs> and I think. I think you'll find that it is kind of high. I think you'll find that it is kind high. Go the cowboy told us. And who am I to disagree? The switch.